Hey Deborah, I just want to say congratulations and tell you how excited I am for you and how scared I am for whoever it is that has to replace you. Uh, you've been such an important part of that place for so long, I'm not sure how they're going to do it. I just want to leave you with one quick story real quick. Uh, many years ago, me and a manager who I will not name may have conducted a fantasy newsroom draft where we were able to pick anybody in the Wilmington market to start up a newsroom. This other manager, of course, went with an anchor. Uh, both my first pick, I chose you because of everything that you've built at WECT. The other manager, of course, kicked, up, kicked themselves and said how much smarter I was than them and went on like that for a long time, but agreed that you were absolutely the right pick. It was right then and it's right now. Anyways, uh, best of luck to you. Hey Deb, I just wanna wish you the best as you leave WECT and start your next adventure. I wanna thank you for welcoming me to the station a few years back as I started on Team Digital, even though it didn't last very long, but we stayed friends and I've always looked up to you as a coworker and then most importantly, as a fellow new mom. And I miss working with you every day, and I know everyone still at the station is going to miss you as well. Hey Deb, all the recs sending you our best from Tucson. Yes, and we are so excited for you for your new job. You're going to like life outside of news. You actually get to see your spouse. It's pretty great. Yeah, you are going to miss the people in the newsroom. You're going to miss timely responses from coworkers, uh, but you're not going to miss the stress. So we hope to see you guys out here sometime. I can't believe Deborah Dolan is leaving WECT. Say it ain't so, Deb. I always enjoyed working with you down in Wilmy. I know the team there is going to miss you a ton. Hope you have the best of luck in your future endeavors. Go get them. Hi, Deb. Congratulations on your new job. I wish I could be there in person and give you a great big hug uh, in person, but uh, with everything going on, that probably wouldn't be possible even if I did still live in Wilmington. Uh, so it was so nice to hear this great news um, amidst all of this craziness that's going on. Uh, I know that you will be so missed at WECT and I certainly miss all of our conversations that we had at work, especially your guidance after I became a new mom. And um, more than you know, I appreciated so much the many containers of clothes that you gave me. I think Ava wore those clothes. Um, I didn't really have to buy much uh, for the first year and a half of her life. So uh, actually, I think she's wearing Taylor's purple Crocs right now. So thank you very much. Uh, but anyways, I am so thrilled for you and uh, for what's to come for you. And I hope that we can sit down and have a beer and talk about it all very soon. Bye. Best of luck to one of the absolute best digital news minds I have ever encountered. You're a strong strategic thinker, always willing to help your colleagues from across the country. You're a fantastic trainer, someone everyone wants to be around, and an absolute beast at rock and hurricane coverage. We'll miss you, Deborah, and know you'll be killing it at your next adventure. Deb, my work bestie. So you only lasted two and a half years without me sitting beside you. I totally get it. That's why I have Deb doll here to keep me company. Is that weird? It's not weird. Deb Doll sits beside me every time I go to work. <laughs> Who am I kidding? There's no work. So it's really a good thing that you are going to PPD because I hear that stands for pays pretty dang well. Dang well. Pays, pays pretty dang well, one word. It's not the best acronym. That's just the word on the street. So you are gonna be getting a paycheck. I feel like your kids will appreciate things like lunch and shirts. So good move, Deb. My only regret is that you just didn't go out in style like Scott and I did. Like leave the business to go after something that you're passionate about in order to like make yourself a better person. <laughs> that was a pretty funny midlife crisis, wasn't it, Scott? I mean, he's there, right, Scott? I mean, he came back, he's just working for all these random departments. Deb, you're his boss kind of, aren't you now? <laughs> anyway, nobody's anybody's boss because Deb is out of there. And girl, you are gonna be missed because your level of knowledge about all things digital is off the charts. And you as a human and a friend and a person is even further off the charts. I am so proud of you. Have fun with this next step. And I love you. And lunch soon? I mean, you get lunch breaks now, right? 
Deb, double D, like how I dressed up for the occasion, just got out of bed and figured I'd wish you the best of luck on your new endeavors. I know that I probably was a problem for you with not getting my web stories in on time. Uh, but you know, I just have to be the rule breaker. But seriously, you're one of the best in the business, always keeping up with the new trends and always exciting everybody about where news is going, which obviously is digital. So best of luck to you in the future. Take care. Tell Taylor I said hi. She's most important. Tiny Dancer. Hey, Deborah, just wanted to say thank you so much for welcoming me into my first job and being kind and patient as I learned just how important digital was to the news industry. To this day, I still continue some of the practices and tips that you gave me along the way. There was nothing quite like seeing the smile on your face when I told you I had a skeleton article up or something like that. So thank you so much. I know whatever you do in your next step in life, you're going to excel at and you're going to really take the bull by the horns and do a great job. So good luck in your next step. Debra, 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 I was surprised to learn that you're getting out of the news business. Without question, you will be missed. WECT's loss is PPD's gain. You've been such a solid contributor at many levels, plus a good person and just fun to be around. Now, it doesn't hurt that you're a Chiefs fan. And what you've done at WECT would make KC Woof and Chief fans everywhere proud. Exciting times are ahead for you. Best of luck, my friend, on your next digital adventure. Greetings from Knoxville, Tennessee. I just wanted to say congratulations, Deb. I know you're going to be missed around WECT. It was a great time when I was there, and I loved working with you and everybody else uh, down in Wilmington. And I know you're going to do great in your next job. So uh, good luck and congratulations. Hey, everybody. I just wanted to send um, Deborah my love from Columbia, South Carolina. Um, there aren't many women in our business that carry themselves with so much grace, poise, and intelligence and do it all with a smile on their face while raising families. Um, Deb's done that through hurricanes and tornadoes and all of the coverage you can expect over her time there. And she's an original gangster. She's the original web queen. And I love you, Deb. And thank you for always being so great and gracious to me in the time we work together. Love you. What is this rumor that I keep hearing about you leaving WECT? That's just not possible. You're web Deb. You're the rock star of the web. You're irreplaceable. Um, but anyhow, I'm super excited for you. Congratulations on your new role. You're going to be amazing. Um, wherever you're going, they're lucky to have you. Um, I'll always be so grateful that you were my manager at WECT. You taught me so much. You were always so kind and patient and supportive, even though I was very green and very new at everything. Um, and you also helped me follow my dream to end up in Dallas. Um, so I'll, I'll forever be grateful to you for that. Um, and uh, next time I'm in Wilmington, I hope that I get to see you and we can catch up and you can tell me all about your new job. But just know that I'm thinking about you and just super thrilled for you. Um, congrats again. Deborah. wow. Can't believe we've known each other for 11 years now. Uh, what you've done in your 13 years at WECT has been nothing short of extraordinary. You and your teams continue to provide information to people during this pandemic and of course, who can forget Florence? You guys continued to work and save lives while you had a hole in your roof. And I'll share some numbers with you here. 1.5 million users on your digital platforms during that week. Those users clicked or tapped on your website and apps 19 times per second. And let's not forget the 7.3 million live streaming views that you had during that week. Thank you so much for everything that you've done. Thanks for your friendship. And I hope that uh, whatever's next for you is going to be fun and interesting. And oh, one more thing, don't read the comments. Hi, Deborah, Sarah Morley Catman. Congratulations, I'm so excited for you. I know that everyone who's worked with you during your 13 years at WECT is honored to have had you as a colleague because you're smart, you're funny, you're dedicated, and PPD is lucky to have you. Best of luck in your next adventure. 
Hey Deborah, congratulations on your new job. We're so excited for you, but we know that WECT is going to miss you a ton and we miss you. Mm -hmm. um, come visit whenever they lift the lockdown. Yes, come to New York when there's no disease here. Um, but we miss working with you. We really miss going out after work with you. Yeah, you were always really nice to me from like day one, probably because we had to work so closely together. So. Just because she's a really nice person. Yeah. But you really did look out for other people at work and not just yourself, which is a rare quality. Um, Congratulations. So we love you. From God's two favorite children to Satan's mistress. Deb, I am just so proud of you. I could squeeze your neck in a way different from how I usually wanted to squeeze management's neck with a cable wire. Look at everything you've accomplished in this career. All those awards you've won us that made us look better than we are. Those pieces of wood with writing on them that never ever equated to a raise. And perhaps your biggest accomplishment when you and I were the champions of the one time and one time only newsroom water gun fight back in a saner, funner time where you could point a gun in someone's face in public and some woke Gen Zer wouldn't wet the bed about it. You have survived so much in this career. Rayford Brown, my turn, your turn. Hundreds of passive aggressive emails from Scott Saxton and now Brad. Honey, you're a survivor. You can do anything. The truth is, Deb, whether it's someone you've worked with or one of your friends, me being the obvious favorite, or your family, you have always put other people's needs and wants before your own. And there is nobody else who deserves a great opportunity more than you do. I have watched you for years work with flawless dedication and consistency under super high pressure situations or even when you were in excruciating pain because your hip was like in a ricochet out of your body or because you were gestating those two crotch goblins of yours. It's always been flawless. You are a living example of how someone should be successful dependable, consistent in a career, and then also with your relationships outside of work. And I am just so stoked for you that you are now going to be part of this huge global company with all these opportunities who has a reach beyond Cerro Gordo and who every paycheck isn't going to try to intimidate you into giving half of it to the United Way in exchange for a hot dog. So girlfriend, pack up all your shit. Don't ask where your highlighters are. I stole half of them years ago and never gave them back. Get out the door and do the damn thing. And to the rest of you, if I hurt any of your feelings, I'm really sorry about the mean, highly accurate things that I said. Deb, it's Tony Castleberry, in case you forgot, like you could forget. I just moved into this house. That's why there's nothing on the walls behind me. I know you were wondering. Um, the real reason for this message is to let you know that you set the bar so high when you were my boss at WECT that I have not worked a single day since leaving Wilmington. I go on interviews, but these other bosses don't compare. You're the best. Congratulations. Hi, Deb. I'm so excited for you and your new chapter. I want to say thank you for all of your patience, your kindness, and just being an incredible leader in the WECT newsroom. I can honestly say you are one of the most kind people I've one ever met and worked for and worked with. I wish you so much success in your future. You are a great person. Good things are coming your way. Hey Deborah, I just want to say congratulations and I'm so excited for you and for your next journey. Um, a few memories of mine is on a professional note, I will forever be grateful for all the Google Analytics skills you taught me. Um, on a personal note, um, my favorite memories of you are just in meetings being able to look over and just give each other a look and just know. <laughs> um, that will forever be a memory of mine. Again, congratulations. I'm so happy for you. Hey Deb, just wanted to take a second to uh, wish you good luck on your next venture. Um, it's been a pleasure and a blessing to know you not only as a coworker but as a friend. Um, and I'm really excited for your next venture. I will always be very, very grateful for your friendship, your guidance, 
and all of your support through the years. And I'm just really, really blessed to call you a friend. Congratulations. Hi, Deb. I thought I would do this the one or two days this week that I'm actually wearing makeup and look halfway decent for work because we've been quarantined in our apartments, but I actually had to leave today to shoot something and be on camera. But I just want to tell you, I'm so incredibly excited for you and for this next step in your life. You deserve it. Uh, looking back at WECT, I really can't imagine it without you there. You were like a mom to me at WECT, but the cool, fun mom who was always dancing, always had something witty to say, and always added her two cents, sending memes in the morning meetings, sending memes to me still now, especially the Shit's Creek ones. I always appreciate them. And I appreciate you and you as a mom in general to your two kids. And I love watching your Snapchats of them. And I know that you will be great in this next chapter. I'm happy you probably get to spend a little bit more time with your kids and your family and just know that you're going to be great. And I can't wait to hear about it. Hey babe. I just wanted to take a minute and say how proud we are of all of your accomplishments that you, over your time at WECT. We're super, super proud of you. And we wish you nothing but the best in this next chapter. We love you very, very much. We love you very, very much. Drop it to me.